Hi guys, hope you're doing well. It's Kenji here and join me in this sculpting tutorial. It took me so long for this project because of its complexity and thankfully here it is. Our today's subject is the beautiful Harley Quinn Longhorn Beetle, Acrosinus longimanus. I chose this beetle to be my subject because of its uniqueness and odd looking long legs along with its interesting polychromatic color pattern. So without further ado, come on, bring the clay on, and let's begin. Form an aluminum foil into beetle abdomen shape, make it dense, and secure with masking tape. Inserting a piercing tool to act as a handle while doing the sculpting. And let's cover it with thin sheet of clay, I use a Sculpey Premo for this project. Shaping it based on the reference, adding segments on their side and also on its top side. I use this piece of plastic cutout and I find it efficient. Harley Quinn Longhorn Beetle is a large American beetle with detailed polychromatic patterns of black, red, orange, and yellow markings on its wing covers. Its name, Longimanus, denotes its extremely long forelimbs, which extends longer than the insect's entire body. With a size of 150mm for male, usually the tibia part is curved when in the female is relatively straight. The male of this beetle used their long legs not only for communicating with females but also to fight predator and guarding the female and the site where the female lay their offspring. And the side of having long forelimbs, they have also a very long antennae. Adding coxa of the hind legs and poke them, then do the first baking. And now let's resume in sculpting its thorax. Laying more clay over the thorax, covering it with plastic and adding the shallow groove of its underside. Widespread from southern Mexico to Brazil in South America in most Amazonian rainforests and may also be found in many Caribbean territories such as French Guiana and as well as in Trinidad and Tobago. Harlequin beetle may be described as being diurnal that is active during the day and at rest during the night. Their diet is mainly fungi and sap from the bark of decaying trees. Harlequin beetles goes also through the four stages of development, complete metamorphosis, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Harlequin beetle is usually solitary, however, these beetles do exhibit foresy, meaning that the other organisms, namely the pseudoscorpion, Cordylocernus scorpiodes Use the beetle as transport medium to get to other locations. Harlequin beetles are almost always found carrying these hitchhiking arthropods which pose no actual threat to the beetle itself. Adding a noodle of clay around the thorax for the plate edge and blend it. Thank you. 
And next is making its prothorax by forming a triangular piece of foil, covering it with clay and shape based on the reference, and attach it to the body. Poking the two pointy sides for the spines to be added later. And after curing its prothorax with a heat gun, I lay over a very thin sheet of clay for the final detailing. Coxa of the other legs is also added, poke them and cure it again with heat gun. and adding the small triangular part on its back called Iskikelium. And adding very thin noodle of clay on the edge of the prothorax. And after that, I drill the center of the prothorax deep down to his abdomen, adding reinforcement for the whole structure using stainless wire and glue. And let's proceed in sculpting his head. Cover it with thin sheet of clay, adding the two compound eyes and mandibles. After that, do the final baking to complete the curing process. Drill the head for the antennae which is located in the mid part of his eyes and drill all those poke holes as well.
for the spines, claws, and antennae, I use plastic bristles and glue them. For its long front legs, I use 1mm stainless steel wire and for the other 4 legs, I use 0.8mm bronze wire, taking the measurements and bend them accordingly. and do the sculpting by covering them with thin sheet of clay, shaping them based on the reference. Bake them for 15 minutes. Meanwhile, I prepare the wing cases or the elytra using a soda can to support the thin clay. So I mark it and trim, getting it centered and cut into halves.
masking tape underneath these wing cases to temporarily ties them back together prior to sculpting. Forming a humpy piece of air dry clay and stick them on it to make the sculpting more easy. Lay over a thin sheet of clay, pressing it gently so the shape will register underneath and trim it off. Then place it back and fix its shape. making incision in the center. poke holes on the edge for the spines and cure it with heat gun. And continue sculpting them adding more piece of clay to add bumps in the front area and after that do the final baking. Giving it a little sanding, adding those spines and glowing wires underneath to be able to insert them on its back. Now I added two parts epoxy to this antennae to imitate those joints, shaping them immediately as they get dry so fast. And for his long front legs, attach those spines, brush it with resin, and sprinkle with sand to add texture. Cure it with UV light. Wrap all the legs tibia part with tissue paper using PVA glue.
And as I mentioned before, I prepared the cloth using plastic bristles, adding two parts epoxy for the fluffs in its tarsus parts and gluing them to the legs. Brush the paper covered part of each legs with resin and cure with UV light. I painted his elytra and his forelegs with a mix of titanium white and raw amber. I used pure black for all his black coloration. I painted the top side of his abdomen with the combination of burnt shenna, yellow ochre, and black. Dry brushing the underside with the grayish paint mix. I first did sketching his elytra so it will be easy to paint those patterns. And for all his reddish patterns, I used the combination of cardinal red and bus yellow lightened with the little titanium white. In painting all these white markings, I used the same white paint mix. Adding black and white markings on his elytra. Adding those tiny black dots on his wing cases to finalize all the details. Painting these beetles elytra took me 4 hours, those patterns are quite intricate, but thankfully I arranged my color palette correctly and got its likeness. Applying paint wash on his back using burnt shenna, yellow ochre, and black mix. And 
finally sealing the whole sculpture with semi-matte varnish. Applying UV resin on his eyes and mandibles and cure with UV light. And there we go! Our Harley Quinn Longhorn Beetle is finally finished. Hope you enjoyed this sculpting tutorial guys and yes, I did a separate tutorial for this resin wings so stay tuned for more bonus video tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day everyone!